Here you want to find the area of the triangle and label the units. In order to find the area, first we want to identify our formula. So the formula for a triangle is A equals half base times height. In our example here, we're actually given more information than we need because we are given all three sides of the triangle and the height. So the height is this line that cuts through um, the triangle. So seven is the height. And because they gave us the height in that manner, then the base is actually that line that's perpendicular or creates a 90 degree angle to the height. So using the formula, half base is 11, height is seven. Using multiplication, you're gonna multiply everything and your answer will be 38.5. Now the instructions say to label the units. We are using kilometers. Now area means all that space inside a figure or shape. So everything that's green in here is the space inside the triangle, that's the area. And whenever we're talking about area, we square our units. So we're talking about kilometers squared as my labeling of units. Next, we wanna find the area of a parallelogram. First, you kind of need to know what a parallelogram is, and it's basically any figure that has a set of two parallel lines. So if you notice, we have one set of parallel lines, and then we have the next set, which creates my parallelogram. Not really a straight line, but you get the idea. Parallel lines are basically lines that never cross each other. They never intersect. Now, our formula is base times height, and it kind of looks like the formula for a triangle. And that's because if you were to take a parallelogram and kind of cut it in half, you would get a set of two triangles. So that's where our formula for triangles actually comes from. So I'm going to just keep that there. That was just a piece of extra information. To find the area, I need the base. So base is 12. And the height. Now the height is actually not a part of the shape itself. It's just a distance from the bottom or the base to the top of the triangle. So using my formula, area is gonna equal base, which is 12, times height, which is six. So 12 times six is 60. Instructions say to label the units. We are using centimeters, and we said when we're talking about area, we always have the units squared. So 60 centimeters squared would be the answer.